if you're thinking about this, I've got high humidity in my house. What are the what are the signs that I have a problem? Because some people are actually comfortable at higher humidity levels and they don't really care. They'll just turn the thermostat down to a colder temperature to be comfortable, but the humidity is still high. But one of the things that you can look for is ductwork that's sweating. So right. the registers, the supply registers, you look up if they're on the ceiling and you have an attic space up there, that duct is trying to move like 55 degree air through an attic that could be 130 to 150 degrees and it's full of humidity. And a lot of times what I find is that the boot that actually penetrates through the drywall there's two things. A lot of times the insulation doesn't actually cover the entire boot mm -hmm. up in the attic. So you have this metal that's really cold in contact with really hot, really humid air temperature in the attic. And then the other thing I find a lot is there's a gap that never gets sealed between that metal boot and the drywall. So if you actually took down the register, you generally are going to find a quarter inch gap or so, sometimes even bigger than that between the drywall and the boot. And that in new construction is the number one thing that will cause a house to fail. A duct leakage test is not sealing those boots. It's also what can cause all the discoloration that you see around your boot on the ceilings. So if your house has those kind of sweating registers and you start seeing the discoloration on the drywall, there's a pretty good chance that that gap's not been sealed and that the duct has not been insulated properly. Point. And low airflow too, it can also be a cause of it. If you've got very low airflow, it can also cause the registers to sweat. So it doesn't have to be like that. Like you pointed out, Eric, a couple of simple solutions can, can fix that problem.